Virginia Tech has lined up. We're ready for this one underway. Sends it sailing downfield. Into the end zone, down for a touchback. To take the crack. On the run, they bring the quarterback down. They get to the quarterback and end that. Got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Red two, hit blue four. And he is drilled at the 33-yard line. Over the middle to his tailback. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. And he's taken down at the 22. Now, I love this wide receiver. I know what he can do catching the football. He's trying to get in line to say, hey, I want to carry the football. He's trying to push that starting running back out of the job. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's going to try and scramble, heading for the corner. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So the score now, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Virginia Tech staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Go! Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Nice run to the outside. About seven yards there on the scamper from the halfback, and that's going to be good for the first. Again, they go with the halfback here, and again, he picks up some positive yardage and a first down. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. Fires complete over the middle. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Number 17 on the tackle at the 28-yard line. 
first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 28. That's a great tackle at the 13. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. Going down, going down. 45 to the mic. And down he goes around the five yard line. Second it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Heavy. 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 They're packed in tight on the line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Call it a gain of four yards. This is the ninth play of this drive. That makes it first and goal. Roger, Roger. 45 to the mic. You remember me? You remember me? Let's go. He scrambled, keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. We get a tie game at 7-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Black Hill kid, Black five, two, three. He's gobbled up in the backfield. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He showed a good burst there. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game is six on the play. That'll make it second. They're about four yards away here on second down. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Game is four yards. First down. He fights forward to about the 43. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Runs it left for a decent game. That's good for a seven yards. Third down. to that quickly and they make the stop the 27 yard line we played one we're even at seven in this one we 
can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Fakes to the back. Slings it. And he will score. What a display of pure speed. You know, any time this guy touches a ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. And he adds the extra point. Virginia Tech to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Makes it to the 37. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Wow, that was some run. It's worth the price of admission just to see this guy get into the open field. He launches one for the end zone. He scores. What a play. These poor guys in the secondary look like they're still trying to catch up with him. He's gone in a heartbeat. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. Tennessee kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tackled after a decent pickup. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Off up the middle and he's stuck. They get to the quarterback and now the ball is loose. To the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Makes you nervous any time a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. Man, did it work out for him here for a big time play in the score. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Virginia Tech's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, They've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That brings up second and one.
Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Hey, check my 45. Check my 45. Hey, D-line, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Tackle at the 44. Call the game of 10 yards. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 45 to the mic. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. From their own 48 yard line. Second down. Four down, four down. Hey, check my 45. Check my 45. Fires right side. Got his tailback. Tackle made at the 47 yard line. That's a game of five on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Very effective play calling in a third down situation. It's plays like that you need to win ball games. Convert on third down. First and ten. Ball on the 42 yard line. They'll give it off here. And he hits him hard at the 32 yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's tackled at about the 22-yard line. Game of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Come on! It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. He's on the run. They'll bring him down around the 13-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Nice run up the middle. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. They're about four yards away here on second down. down around the four yard line. Game of two yards. That'll make it third and one. It's the 11th play of the drive. And he's level at the two yard line. I think the defense that time was, was really anticipating and expecting a run. And I think it was a good time to call the pass. It wasn't a huge result as far as the play and how many yards they got, but they did pick up the first down, and I think they caught the defense that time napping. Scrambling around. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he hits the PAT. It was a 12 play, 73 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. We've got a stalemate right now, 21 apiece. Virginia Tech is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the down for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Taken down right around the 36-yard line. 
On third and long, they get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. Just throws this one away. Second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. He's scrambling, and they get the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That brings up third and 14. And here's another third down. Situation. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Oh, excellent punt. And down he goes at the 32. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. three-yard line. It's third down. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. Going deep. Lays it out there. And he hauls it in deep downfield. Spectacular play. And now it's first and goal. So at the end of the half, 21-21 ball game. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good game score. We're locked and loaded. we got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. The stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. He's going to try and scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. So the sack makes this a second and long.
Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Booming kick. They'll bring him down at the 48. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Decides to slide. Strike to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 25. Hey, kill, kill, kill. 15, flare. Gets to about the 24 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Don't kill him. That's a live ball. It's recovered, and down he goes at about the 15-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And two, go! The 10. Touchdown, Tennessee! Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. This six-point lead will soon become seven with the extra point. It's still in the third quarter, but we've seen a great game the whole way. Surprised to see if these guys drive it back down the field again and tie it up. And he converts the extra point. So that's a five-play, 52-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Volunteers' defense really looked pathetic in that first half, Kirk, and now they're doing a nice job. Well, obviously, they've made some adjustments after the first half, and it's paid off for them. I think right now they're tuned in to what this offense is trying to do, and I think they're also just playing with a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. On play action, he'll scramble. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. That's good for a game. First, First down. down. First down. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Four down, four down. Watch number five, watch number five. Go! And they'll get him in the backfield. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. 45 to fight. Go, go. Oh. Oh. Makes it out to about the 49. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it third. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Makes the catch and look out. He's taken down at the 47. That's a gain of four on the run. That makes it first and ten. You better bring it. You better bring it. I'm letting you know right now. I bet out it. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. He's at the 30, and he is drilled at the 
26-yard line. From the 26-yard line, first down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Check out. The ball is loose. It's scooped up. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover block. They need to hold on to the football. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Going deep. It's caught. Very clutch tackle there because this kid had some space. Tennessee is up a score. Makes it to the 14. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That's a That makes it first and goal. Throws it away. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the four yard line. Makes a move and he's in for the touchdown. Makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He has some room. Game of seven yards. That'll bring us second to three. Come on! They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. There he goes. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds at the 34. Listen, he's not just fast, he's also a smart runner. He knows how to follow blocks, and he knows when to accelerate. That's what differentiates skill from talent. So we've got a first down after a great running play. Runs it left for a decent game. That brings him second to five. Roger, Roger. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Watch the door. Go. Out of bounds at the 25 yard line. Gaining four yards. That'll bring up third. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. That's three down and one to go. Tennessee's in front by 14. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Four down, four down. 80's getting the ball here. 80's getting the ball. Hey, 
We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. That's around five yards gained there on the play for the tailback. I think that's the third time he's carried the ball on this drive. And I can imagine they'll keep giving it to this guy until the defense can figure out how to stop him. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Here's the eighth play of the series. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Check mark 45. Check mark 45. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Tech's on the extra point. Virginia Tech to kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Tennessee up seven points. Got it to his man on the screen, and he's level at the 28-yard line. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. And a quick throw. And he tackles him hard to the 37-yard line. Watch 14, watch 14. Check, 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 check. First down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black ah. And he just gets rid of it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That brings us third and ten. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, and he can't hold on. Looked like both sides tried to get away with some shoving while the ball was in the air. Here's the call. Offense. The penalty is declined. Number 87, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's taken down at the 18-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. First and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at the 42. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Check three, 
Just under three to go in regulation. Go! 225! Go! 25! Go! Again with a carry. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And he's taken down around the 47-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 41-yard line. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Quick pass. They'll bring him down around the 48-yard line. That makes it third and 15. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 39. A little over a minute in the game. Wow, what a battle and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Hokies will use their first time out of the half. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 37. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Virginia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Virginia Tech's called their final timeout. Picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Dog four, X seven. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Tennessee 35, Virginia Tech 28. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.